Welcome everyone to the first Goa International GM Open 2018. What you see in front of you is the Shyama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium in the Goa University. This is where the tournament is held from 13 to 20th of October and we will be going inside to see how it looks. However, something very interesting to note is that this road which leads to the venue, some kind of a highway has been lit up by tournament holdings like these. You see the chief minister here, Manohar Parikar. Then you have the power minister who supported this tournament, Nilesh Kapral. And also you have posters of players like Bhakti Kulkarni, top seed Martin Krautsev, Anurag Mahamal who is the first GM of Goa. And this is really amazing because it's not just in this highway but also if you go into the main Panjim city you will see these posters being put up. It's really a big event for Goa because there are 1200 participants playing here nearly uh, 1200 and this is the biggest ever sporting event held in the state. Not even football, cricket or any other sport has matched these numbers. Now when you come over here there's a big banner and it tells you a lot about this tournament. So first of all, you see on the top, that's Manohar Parikar, the chief minister who's supporting this tournament in a big way. And you have below him, uh, Sri Manohar Ajgaukar, who is the minister of tourism, who's also supporting this tournament. But I guess the biggest support has been from Nilesh Kabral, who is the honorable minister for power in Goa but also the president of Goa Chess Association. Below you will see so many corporates sponsoring and supporting the event. You have Delton Group that has chipped in with Stay, ONGC, AAI, Geo, Indian Oil and so many more. At the bottom you would see Chess Base India here which is the media partner of this event. Now there are few entrances to the venue. There are a few on the left as well but right now we will be going through the main venue uh, main entrance over here and this is the one that takes you through to the playing hall and also there are many more things that need to be shown of course goa is well known for its casinos and delton has a stall here which gives lucky draws every day here you have the registration counter and this is where the entire registration had been done for the tournament and if you move to the right you have some stalls here so the first stall that you see is chess base india stall a lot of people have been visiting this stall there are all these books over here and they have given stalls to all the people who are supporting this tournament. Here you had HP fuel over here, nurture. But being the last day, things have cooled down a bit. Over here you can see people coming out. And if they want to have some snacks or something to eat, they would come here and have it. From here is the entrance to the venue. But we will be going there in a while. First, there's also this stall of Delton Group. This is where the lucky draws are being held every day. Moving on here. This is the projector room. And this is where a lot of presentations were held for chess base and quality chess books. They had a dedicated space for this and parents and students would sit here and listen to the one who was giving the lecture. And here we have the VIP room. This is where all the grandmasters and top players had direct access and you always had some food over here. A nice place to sit and from here you have the access to the tournament
and don't be alarmed when you see the playing hall perhaps one of the best that you would ever see in Indian tournament circuit it's the playing hall you can see flags of all the participating con countries over there and what people have really appreciated here is that parents get to sit and view the tournament happening over there this is a big advantage so they are not really inside the playing hall and yet they can see all the action and here you see the A group which is taking place the top boards are somewhere over there and these are the A group players a lot of arbiters have made this tournament a grand success that's the chief arbiter Mr. Vipnesh Bhardwaj and here you have the arbiters room and also the organizers room where they would sit and discuss various strategies and this is the C group action the top board over here and what people have really appreciated is that each and every player has enough space you can see only two games going on on each table which really makes it very comfortable for everyone to play this is how the tournament is and ne over 500 participants in the C group so a lot of people have come in and by the way if you look into the distance here this is the cameraman who makes sure that live broadcast is being done seamlessly and it's being broadcast on Facebook YouTube everywhere This is where you have all the people taking the results of the C group. So many young people, the players of Goa, have got an opportunity here to play because of this event. And you see here someone in the wheelchair and you will see a lot of different kinds of people have joined in for this tournament a real celebration of chess and if you are a spectator you get a very very fantastic view of what's going on from here now this is something interesting that we are going to show you here is the media room they have specially dedicated media room and this is where we are working this is Mr. Prabhakar who is working hard to make the live broadcast and you have quite an elaborate system here of three monitors PC and games are being shown live not just uh, in the traditional format but also uh, with video streaming that is done along with the commentary of the 2D board so it's really high class uh, quality that they have tried to achieve and this is where all the players get to eat after the round have their tea coffee food and uh, it's absolutely free of cost the food it's included in the entry fee and people have appreciated this gesture from the organizers so this is where all the players gather after the game so you have the A group last round here the C group last round going on here and in a few hours the winners will be decided this is perhaps one of the finest events that has taken place in India and Sagar Shah bringing you live scenes from the first Goa International signing off now.